Hello, and welcome back to the academic reading tutorial. Last time we learned about reading and reciting the text. Now that you've finished your reading assignment, you're ready to start the final step in the academic reading process, reviewing. As always, feel free to pause the video and compare our examples to your own reading assignment. After a day or so away from the reading, take a look through your notes and the items you highlighted while reading. Do they make sense? Also, look through the questions posed either in the textbook or in the study guide. Can you answer them with ease? If you're reading an abstract, look back at the headings and conclusion. Can you confidently recount and discuss the article if someone asks you about it? If so, then you're an active reader. Congratulations! If not, that's okay. You simply need to go back and do some additional reading and reciting which could include note-taking and highlighting. This review phase is to catch anything you might have missed and cement the ideas from the reading into your memory so you can confidently discuss the reading. The purpose of all these steps is not to make your reading assignment more difficult. In fact, it's quite the contrary. I know it sounds like a lot to do, but really these tools will actually make your reading easier. And as with anything, these steps become easier with practice. The more times you use them, the more ingrained the process will become. By being a critical thinker and an active participant in your reading, you're making studying more efficient. The time you invest in the beginning will pay off when it comes to preparing for your exam or using your new knowledge in your career. Thanks for watching.